Here we'll look at how to back up files from your laptop into OneDrive. Now I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to go into Finder and take a look at the various folders that I might want to copy or back up. So I see I have a desktop, I have some stuff in the documents, there might even be something in downloads. Those would be the three that I'd be probably focusing on backing up. So let's navigate through the portal to Office 365. Once in the Office 365 portal, I'll click on the waffle and go to OneDrive. Select my files and now I'll want to create some folders that duplicate the folders that contain files that I'd like to back up. I'm also going to give them a name that stands out. So for instance, MacBook Air so MBA desktop. I'm going to create another one that's going to mimic my documents. And if you have any downloads that you'd like to keep on your new computer and back up, And so now as we navigate down, we see that we have these folders. I'm going to start off with my desktop. I'm going to open up my desktop folder, and right now it's empty. I'm going to open up Finder, go to desktop, click on the first file, scroll down, click on the last file holding down the shift key, that selects them all, and now I'm going to just drag and drop them down. You'll see that there's a plus sign, 47, and they will begin to upload into the Office 365 environment in OneDrive. You can see the process down here. Once this is complete, I would do the same and go back to my files. Doc, if my MacBook Air documents was the next one, I'd go into my back MacBook Air. Again, it's empty. Open Finder, go to Documents, select all the files, and drag them down into the folder. Now it can take some time to copy all the files depending on the size, um, so this should be done well in advance. If you use iMovie or Photos on your Mac, you'll need to move those libraries in the same way into OneDrive. So once again, I've created a MacBook Air Photos folder that is currently empty. I'm going to open Finder, go to Pictures, grab the library, and copy it into, or make a backup into my OneDrive. Depending on the size, of the library, the number of photos you have in it, this can take quite a bit of time. Now I would do the same with iMovie. So these libraries are kept in this movies folder and I would grab both of these files or folders and, oops, and drag those into a folder that I would have named MacBook Air Movies. Once you get your new device, you'll be able to select the file, download it, and then import it back into Photos.